This video will discuss entropy for reversible processes involving ideal gases. So I said in previous videos that the change in entropy during some process for an isolated system has to be greater than or equal to the heat divided by the temperature. So for a reversible case, I said for some reversible process, that's where we have the equality that ds is equal to zero or ds of an isolated system is equal to zero for reversible processes and that ds is greater than zero for irreversible processes leading to the two cases in that greater than or equal to so let's look at what the entropy change of the universe is for reversible isothermal expansion and compression of an ideal gas so the total change in entropy is going to be the sum of the entropy change of the system plus the entropy change of the surroundings. So ds equals the heat of the system over temperature of the system plus the heat of the surroundings divided by temperature of the surroundings. So for our system, du is equal to zero, which is equal to dq plus dw. The heat plus the work is the total energy change, which is zero. So the heat is equal to the negative work which is equal to minus times the work is minus nRT over VdV, the differential of work. So the heat, the heat in our reversible isothermal processes for ideal gases is nRT over VdV. And the heat of the surroundings equals the negative heat of the system. So that's going to be negative nRT over VdV. And in this case, the heat of the, the temperature of the surroundings and the temperature of the system are going to be the same. So what we're going to have there is that dq cis over t plus dq surroundings over t is going to be nr over v dv for the system and then minus nr over v dv for the surroundings, which gives us a total of zero. So for reversible isothermal processes, we end up getting that our entropy change is going to be zero. So that is indeed a reversible process from the perspective of the universe. Then by contrast for adiabatic processes, the heat of the system is zero. So the heat of the surroundings is also zero because it is not exchanging thermal energy with the system. The total en entropy change is equal to the entropy change of the system plus the entropy change of the surroundings which is ds is dq cis over t plus dq surroundings over t. Both of those are zero over t, which is zero plus zero, which gives us zero. So similarly for adiabatic processes, the change in entropy of the universe is equal to zero. So it is indeed reversible and both are compliant according to our claim about the second law of thermodynamics that the entropy change of the universe is zero for reversible processes.